Good evening, everybody, and welcome to FTL, or Faster Than Light. I'm not sure if there, if that's the acronym for this game at all. Uh, more like frustrating time waste. Uh, no, that's not FTL. I don't know. I, I can't think of a good acronym for that. Uh, leecher? Huh? Time leecher? Yeah, time leech. <laughs> frustrating time leech. Um, so... This is kind of a rogue-ish game uh, where we are going to take this ship into deep space and try to uh, survive the terrible things that are going to come towards us here. Uh, so we're just going to call this the Gristle. The Grizzle. Uh, I'm not really going to name my characters because it seems silly. We're actually going to go on normal mode um, with the enhanced content. Uh, basically, they did a free DLC uh, for this game, so that's what the enhanced content's all about. But, uh, you know, it's kind of cool, because uh, this allows us to kind of set up our ship in advance and see our crew a little bit. I do have other ships. Unfortunately, I suck at this game, so we'll see if I can get through another round. Alrighty. The day you're carrying is blah blah blah. Very important. You need to get to the far side of the galaxy, basically. Every time you explore a new node sector, you're going to have more bad things happen to you, or possibly good things. It really depends. So we got a little tip here that about nebulas. Well, we know about nebulas here, uh, but we'll explain them when we get to them. So we're going to put some guy on shields, and we're going to put some guy on weapons. We're going to save our layout here, so that way they keep doing that thing. We're going to go ahead and already power on some uh, lasers here, and we're going to increase the uh, engine control here. We might turn off systems as we don't need them, maybe like the, you know, health med bay here. So, basically, what we got here is our ship layout. This is our ship. We can open and close doors here. We can press pause. Uh, we can open all the doors on the ship, which is bad because we'll let air out. Precious presses oxygen. Uh, right there, we lost 5%. Uh, but it'll regen here. Uh, we also have our various stations. We have a guy here on piloting, o o o Reagan. Uh That's a weird name. He's currently got no skill in doing piloting, but I'm sure he'll learn over time. Uh, we've got Raffin on shields. Uh, basically, because we have a guy out here on shields, it'll recharge quicker. Uh, we have these stations for various other things here. we got a med bay, which when crew are in it, they heal. Uh, we've got some doors here, uh, which represents all the door controls. If this gets hit, all of the doors will have to be opened manually. We got our cameras here, which allows us to see inside of our ship, and if we upgrade, actually see into another ship. Uh, we have our weapon station here. So, weapons represent uh, us being able to shoot things. We've currently got an Artemis torpedo system, and we've got a burst laser. We have our O2 area over here. This is where uh, we need to keep our oxygen coming from. Uh, as long as that's repaired and in operating condition, we will hopefully not lose o oxygen. Although that might change depending on hull breaches and such. Then finally we've got our engines here. Our engines basically uh, take us around the universe and make sure we can keep moving. It's also the way we can kind of jump out of this sector and into a new one. So here's our map. We are trying to get to this exit node which will show a possibility of like two to three other sectors we can travel to. But what's going to happen is as we move around this rogue fleet is going to come and pursue us for this information that we're carrying. So we kind of want to get to this node before that happens, but we also don't want to go too fast or else we miss out on various experiences that we're going to have here. So we're going to go visit this unvisited location and jump right in there. Whoosh! And away we are. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL drive to recharge. Well, we can take the option to explore it, or we can just sit here and wait for the FTL to charge. Uh, I like rolling the dice. Let's roll on one. Oh, shoot. There's a pirate ship hiding out in there. And it comes to attack me. And now we're fighting in asteroids. So what's going to happen is, is these asteroids, we're going to kind of hit both ships periodically. So what we're going to do is we're going to charge our Artemis laser here. And we're actually going to ch choose this one to target. Um, oh, okay. Well, let's hit their shields or weapons first. Uh, we'll hit their shields with that, and we'll punish their shields with some uh, more shots from our burst laser here. We should expect, though, some people going to board our ship here, so because they have a teleporter. Uh, thankfully, I think we can hold them off, but this may require us to uh, look at changing our engines here and adding some to our med base, so that way we can outlast them a bit. 
So let's see what we got here. All right, perfect. He's in our med bay. What do we do? Do we send... Let's send the guy from Shields over there. All right, so now they're fighting. All right, so we've hit their shields. Uh, we're going to pause here. We're going to start hitting their weapons. Uh, we're not going to use our Artemis anymore, so we'll turn that off and put that back into our uh, engines so that we increase our evade status. All right. So they are going to try to... Uh, Reason with us. The day is yours. Show us your honor by allowing us to leave with our lives. We will give you four fuel, one part, and eight uh, experience points. Or materials. That's really not a lot, and it's nothing really good. I could just say let's end this fight, but we have the upper hand, so we will not accept your surrender, sir. Alright, so we've hit their thing, uh, their weapons. They can't attack. We're going to go ahead and hit their shields again. We've got their one guy here that's still trying to attack our guy, but we can deal with that. Come on, hit him harder. Punch, punch, punch. Alright, he went away. So we're going to put him back on shields now. And they are in... Yep, they were in trouble. Oh, look at that! We got less fuel, but we also got some missiles and some more experience. Now we're actually going to want to see if we can get out of here. So we got to wait for our FTL to try, drive the power up. We could do this quicker by moving a guy over to FTL, but uh, we can kind of outlast these uh, asteroids. So what we're going to do is going to go ahead and maybe... Oh, do we go north or south? Um, I think we're going to hit more nodes on average if we go south. So let's go south and see what we hit. Alright, we have come across a rebel scout, so we know these guys are hostile. So we got to take them out. Oh, and they're trying to get away. They're going to get away from us and warn the fleet where we're at. So we got to really slow them down. So this is where we uh, turn off our help med bay here, turn on our Artemis missiles. We're going to target right at their shield, or right at their drive here. And then we're going to punish their shields as well. So boom. Oh, they've got a drone. We can't actually use a missile. Uh, nope, not use the missile. We actually have to take down that uh, drone right now because that's going to harm us. Alright, so we're not going to be able to take that out right away. So we're going to punish their shields, and then we're going to hit their uh, engine right now. So while their drone is down here... Alright. Keep hitting that. That way we can... Ugh, oh, come on. There we go. So we got that going. We gotta hit them with that Artemis again. Let's see if we can't uh, really knock them out here. Alright, so we got their stuff taken care of there. Yeah, there we go. We win! Awesome. Okay, so we got some more experience. We should probably look at upgrading our ship now. So, this is what we can do. We can see our crew and equipment, but we can also upgrade our ship. Uh, each one of these costs a certain number of experience points in order to increase the number of bars that we can actually put into there. Whereas this reactor here actually allows us to increase the number of bars we have on the ship, period. So, again, more power, better for us. Usually what we're going to do here is probably start off by upgrading our bars, so that way we can keep our med bay in use uh, when we want it. We might also take a look at some of these other functions here, like the piling, which increases our uh, evasion, or our doors, which makes it harder for people to break through. Although what we're going to do is probably save up for shields right now, and possibly if we want to buy stuff from space vendors. So right, now we have the rebel fleet coming after us. So we have only so many options here to move. If we go down here, we can actually come back up here and then keep moving along this path to get towards the exit. So I think we're going to do that first. Because it looks like we'll be able to avoid them. Alright, we got another rebel ship, but this one's automated, so let's provoke it and see if we can't get the stuff off of it here. Alright, they have another drone. This unfortunately does not have a crew, so we got to really focus on dealing as much damage to this thing as possible to try to take it out. Oh, what's this? Okay, I have no clue what this thing is. It's a hacking drone, so it's actually hacking our systems. It hacked our doors, which uh, is not exactly useful. But we'll see about taking them out here, if we can get in there. Oh, okay, I guess not. It's better for us just to stay on there. All right, let's take out their weaponry. Ah, see, now they don't really have much that they can do. And we're just going to take them out with... Uh, 
our standard little pew gun here. That's really weird. Alright, so. Got their drone off of us. We've taken a little hull damage. Not too bad. Uh, we only got nine experience, though, so that's rough. Alright, we have to move now. So, we know that there's a store here, though. Alright, so if we go down here, it's going to move this much in one turn. We might be able to get away with going down, then up, and then down to the store. So let's do that. If not, we can always just go to the store after this event. Okay, you receive a request. All of our military ships have been destroyed or damaged during the rebellion. However, there has been a few reports of the Mantis warship camp nearby from us. Can, uh, can you help? Yeah, let's see what we can do. Alright, so we got some experience, uh, and we are going to look for this quest on our map now. Okay, we're barely going to be able to do that. Uh, and we got to get all the way up there, so we're really going to have to hoof it. Hopefully the uh, rebels aren't here. Oh, we could buy a slave if we want. Um, so this ship is a slaver ship. Uh, we should be able to buy another crew member here. Or we could attack them for being slavers. Um, well, right now we do really need a crew member, so let's go ahead and buy him. So welcome to the crew, Hector. You're now our uh, chief engineer. Alrighty. So we got him there. We bought him. Uh, we got him. We got to book it here. Unfortunately, we're not going to make it. So we got to get to the store. That's the, that's the only move we can make. All right, let's see if we can buy or sell anything. Well, we can sh fix our shields up a little bit. That's good. So we'll do that and continue moving. Yeah, we should have uh, pushed a little harder already, but now they're on our tail. Um, minus four shield, uh, four one part. Uh, no, thank you. We are a good science vessel. We don't need that. All right, uh, possible ship detected there. Let's uh, go to the one where we think a ship is. Again, we only got so much fuel. Alright, we're not going to pay any tolls here. These guys are looking for our uh, toll out of us. These guys are pirates, so we're going to go ahead and blast them into space dust here. Let's uh, shoot at their shields, and let's take out their weapons, as always. We've got eight missiles left, so we are going to start rationing these, uh, rationing these down. Let's shoot them. Bam! Oh, man, that stinks. Okay, we might be outgunned here. We're going to choose auto-fire on. We're going to turn off our Artemis here. And we are hitting our O2 here. So we're going to go ahead and take a guy off of here to go deal with that. So that way we can not burn or die. This is a pretty good offer. They're giving us six missiles. So, uh, yeah, we'll accept this offer as we try to fix up the ship here. We gotta keep our O2 going. We're actually losing O2 since it's been taken out. There we go. Now let's get that fixed up. Okay, getting a little lower. Okay. You guys go back to your positions. Ah, oh, shoot. Hector, QC, I think the, that's where these guys belong. Uh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, yeah, this is where they go. So we'll save that position. Uh, let's fix doors and get some crew member experience on everybody. So that way people know that how to repair stuff. That's really important in this game. Because the faster they know how to repair stuff, the better. So we'll put everyone back. Uh, we're starting to get some oxygen back, and we're ready to jump. Okay, can we make this distress and come all the way back? We might be able to. One, two, three... It's going to be tough. I don't think we're going to have enough time for it. So let's go here and explore this node at least. We're in a nebula, so we're going to have to be wary because uh, actually our energy is cut down. So we're going to actually going to have to figure out how to attack these guys. All right, there's somebody on our ship. We don't know where because we can't detect them. So we got to see where our intruder is attacking. They're obviously not doing a very good job of it. Alright, their shields are down. We're going to attack their weapons next. Okay, they hit our oxygen. That's terrible. So we're going to go run back to... Oh my gosh, this guy's a big rock dude. Alright, we've got to get somebody... 
Oh, only two missiles. But we don't want to fight them, do we? Yeah, let's uh, keep fighting them. That way we push them off. Alright, so we push there. Uh, we're going to have to take care of uh, some stuff here. We'll just kind of target them and fire at them. There's no way they're going to kill us right now, so... There we go. Got our oxygen back. Got to put some guys in the med bay. Uh, we got a little stuff there. Woo! Heal up. Feels good. We got some experience. Uh, probably enough to actually put some more into shields, but it's really not worth it until we get maybe a little bit more. Because we actually have to advance up by 50 in order to get a new shield. Uh, we want two shields when possible. Ugh. I think we can go one more space. We can get to the quest. Let's try that, at least. Because we can always jump back. Uh, yeah, let's put them on their structures. we got plenty of missiles. Alright, so we're going to hit this guy right in here in the shields. we got tons of health here. We're probably going to power up the Artemis and take out their weapons. And then we're going to turn that off. Alright, we evaded. Perfect. Alright, so... Now we get to just harass them. It's going to be real easy. Oh, and they took out our freaking O2 again, so we're going to go repair that. Alright, they can't really do much with their shields down. Yep. Ah, feeling good. Feeling good. That's not bad at all. Just wish our lasers fired a bit quicker. Alright, got a lot of experience out of that. Got some fuel. Feels good. Now we need to get out of here. This is going to be rough, because we're going to actually have to uh, beat feet here. Because they're going to be right on top of us. So... We have to get in here, and we're probably going to end up having to do a fight. Or at least wait for the FTL drive to power up. So we got to take this guy out before he takes us out. And we're, not to mention we're going to have the, uh, it, the Rebel fleet come after us as well now. So that's not good at all. Ow. Yeah, we're getting raked. We're getting raked pretty hard. Alright, we're going to keep focusing on this. Come on, we need our FTL drive to go. Oh, they're throwing junk at us or something. Ugh, that sucks. We're losing health. We might not last that long, honestly. This was a terrible idea. I should have tried not going for that quest. I could fire up the Artemis again. Probably should. Oh, we got an air breach. We have air breach. That's not good. Okay. So what we're going to do is close this door. We're going to send this guy over here. Send this guy over here. You guys need to fix that up. Alright, we can jump. We can jump. We can jump. Go to the next sector. Uh, gosh. Ne f f nebulas. Okay, well, we're going to go for this nebula. Alright, we survived. We, we did it. We won. <sighs> we just got to repair shit now. Okay. Oh, boy. Yep, yep. Uh, how about you come out of here? Oh, we're getting oxygen leaks. Uh, we need to get more oxygen in that room. Got to keep people healthy. Come on. We're running out of air. Okay. It's all fixed. We can select these guys. Tell everyone to go in here. Get healed up. And go back to their positions. We'll put Rafan in there. That way he gets healed. Okay. Whew. That was close. And we've lost a lot of health, so that was bad. We could go to the store and buy up, and I think that's what we're going to end up doing. So let's see if we can't uh, see what we got here. We got 20. It's not a lot to buy anything, but we can buy some equipment here, some shields. And I think we'll be good with that for now. I wish we could buy more, but... Obviously, we're going to have to deal with some interesting stuff here. We're going to go into these nebulas, so we're not going to be able to see crap. There's nothing here. Wonderful. And the fleet's right behind us again. It's always worse when you get something that just really... Oh, okay, we got a rock ship. Uh, we find you repugnant. We seek you no aid. Leave now. Okay, well, shoot. Well, let's fire on them because we need stuff. Alright, so we, we have not enough power. So we actually have to drain power from other stations here. 
So we're gonna have to keep our oxygen going, and we're probably gonna have to cut down on engines just to fire on them. Ugh, that stinks. We can't even do that. So we're gonna waste missiles here if we keep firing. We could go down on shields. But if we do that, we are just screwing ourselves real bad. Okay, let's shoot missiles at their shields. Yeah, we got frickin' uh, nebulous going on here. So unless we charge our FTL drive, we can't do anything. So we do that. We put up our burst lasers now. They're gonna have to deal with the same problems we are, so hopefully they're gonna have to divert some energy. We will take that surrender. Alright, now we just get out of here. We'll d unpower our weapons, start healing things up here. Alrighty, let's get out of here. I really hate nebulas. Nebulas are like the worst because nothing good happens in these. And silence. Wonderful. Waste of time. Unless we're hitting stuff that we can kill or collect, we're wasting our time. Oh, and now we got Ma Mantis attacking us. Okay, joy. So we're going to have to deal with people jumping on board, and we don't know where they're going to come from. Because they are already boarding. So where are they on our ship? Well, let's close some doors, first of all. Alright, where are they? Okay, that's where they are. Ow. Well, we can't really do much about that, so we'll just have to keep hitting their stuff here. Wait, oh, Rafan, no, no, don't die, don't die. Oh, no, I wasn't quick enough. What a waste. He died so young. Is he taking out our shields? He's still taking out our shields. Welcome to our ship. You gonna join our side? You don't have a ship to go back to. Come on. Eh, dumb space bug. Alright, I think we're gonna die. <laughs> like, I've played this game terribly already. And we're not getting nearly enough experience, in my opinion. So let's uh, go ahead and increase our shields. So that way we can actually put another two pips in the shields. So we got at least two shields going on now. Oh, we actually have to put energy into our... <laughs> yep, this is the fun part of the game where you're having to manage your resources here. Actually, we'll put both these guys in here. Get them healed up. Let's see if we can't uh, keep going here. Alright, let's jump out of here, see if we get luckier. We have very little health left, so... Chances are we're going to die. I mean, not to be Mr. Positive here, but... Unless we find a way to get some more... Ugh. Okay. Uh, well, we'll attack their weapon system since they have no shields, obviously. We're going to increase our evasiveness here by taking out the energy from our med bay. And putting it into our nice little engines. Doesn't look like he's going to have enough firepower. So we're just going to keep punishing his shields here, or lack thereof. So, he's using ion attacks on our shields. Thankfully, we have two of them now. And now he's got no weapons. So, let's just make sure he can't get away. Because I don't think he's got any way to repair himself, other than the fact that he's a scout. And scouts have a very small repair rate. Perfect. Oh, that was worth a lot of energy. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and buy a bar. So that way we can actually par power our Artemis laser, or Artemis and our burst laser. Alrighty, moving on. I think we got like seven or eight health left, though. We could ignore this ship or we could attack this ship. They are weaker than us. So let's attack them. Power up the Artemis. Take out those weapons. Ah. That's a harsh. Can they really do that much to us? No, it seems like we're still on an advantage here. 
If we can take out their shields, then we can at least hit their weapons a bit more. Alright, we've taken out their shields. Let's move on to weaponry. Yeah, they can't really do much against our two shields. Getting two shields early in this game is really nice. But of course, things are gonna get affected afterward. I think we'll take their offer of surrender right now, even though we can beat them. Uh, we are getting more fuel than I would... Ugh. I don't know. Yeah, we'll take it. We're gonna be nice. You guys got lucky. Alright, so we're gonna move over here. We're gonna tackle a few more sectors before we get more shields. Oh, sh intruder's on board. Where? Okay, we gotta find him. So I want you to move here. I want you to move here. And I want you to move over here. Alright, there they are. Okay, we know where they're at. So let's maximize our efficiency here by pushing our guys over here. We can't really do much right now, but thankfully when we get the option to, we can move these guys into the med bay. Which looks like we're going to have to do soon. Yep, moving them out. Alright, Hector, go in there, mano a mano. Punch them. Punch them hard. Yeah. Alright, get you out of there. Oh, shoot. See, this is why I have to remember to keep powering up the uh, health station. So he's probably attacking the door right now. He's going to go after shields, obviously. It's not like he's doing that much damage to our ship, though. So we're just going to... Everybody punt it. You know. Okay. That turned out pretty good. That worked. We killed him. Uh, we got those intruders off our ship. Everyone can heal now. And let's go back to our stations and jump out of here. We didn't get, like, any experience from that, though, other than personal experience, which... People are starting to get up to almost level 2 of their stuff here. Okay, do we go north or south? I think we go s oh, over here first, because we want to hit the store last before we head out. Alright, attack the automated ship, of course. Uh, we'll hit their weapons. I know my hulls are critical, but... I would rather get a little bit of extra money to repair those than uh, allow myself to die in space. Alright, so attack their engines next. Boom. Alright. And attack their uh, piloting. Because why not? Might as well spread the damage out. These drones are thankfully easier to take out. Especially if they don't have shields. Okay, and we got uh, some salvage. And we got a defense drone! Yay! But we can't use it because we don't actually have a thing that we can use drones with. So unless we can buy something here at the store, we're kind of screwed for that. Um, Alright. Well, we can sell off this uh, dr defense drone. Um, doesn't look like we can buy anything to get the drones, so... I don't actually have two pages. Oh, we can buy uh, crew members. Okay, well, we'll sell this off for 25. Gives us a little something. Want to get some more damage, maybe. We could actually potentially sell off our weapon for a better one. We got lots of missiles. Hmm. Burst Laser Mark 1, so it's another version of the Burst Laser. It only uses uh, two charges, though. Or two power. Uh, I mean, I think we go with the Pike Beam, because that's actually not a bad option. And we buy some repair here now. Um, yeah, we'll just buy up entirely, because we got to use these resources the best of our ability. Let's move on to the next sector and see if we get lucky. Because at least we have potential... Yep, we can move on. Next sector. Let's go to the civilian sector. Woo! We're making it! Okay, so we'll tank, take our medbay off. We'll keep our medbay going so that way we can... Oh, we actually need more. Okay, so we're going to actually need more med... Or <laughs> more power there. That's unfortunate. Uh, we got another store there. Um... More nebula. Mmm. Mmm. But there's more nodes down this way. Let's go where the more nodes are. 
All right, attack the pirate ship. Oh, they got two shields. So, let's uh, attack their drones here. Ow. Okay, so we got a hull breach somewhere, by the sounds of it. Okay. What, what was that? Oh, they got an attack drone. Oh, shoot, we should probably be shooting. Uh, sorry, folks. Hit him with our pike beam. Ah! Okay, that guy's gonna die. There's so many things to keep in mind all at once. And we are not actually using that. Darn. That did not help. Okay, so go back here, charge this thing up. Uh, let's see if we can't attack their drone. I think that's what, what our best thing is. It's really hard to choose. Uh, power of the Artemis. Uh, take out their weapons again. Oh gosh, no. Get out of there, get out of there. Get away from that thing. Okay, they're trying to escape. Again, let's harass them. Get rid of them. Actually, we should probably keep our thing charged so they can't escape. Yes, I'll take that offer. Sounds good. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, regroup here. Let's think about this. Do we have any things going on with the ship right now? Can't exactly see. That's the problem. At least we'll heal up. Ugh, come on. Alright, looks like we're good. So let's uh, put everyone back to their stations. Sometimes just like, taking the surrender is probably the better option here. So we're fighting guys with two shields now, so that's terrible. Ugh. Alright, well, let's see if we can't uh, utilize this. And we got more attackers. Wonderful. We're going to start burning for our missiles here at this rate, though. So we're going to just hit that shoot. Or hit those shields. Like, that's that's what we gotta do. Oh, and they teleported a dude on our ship. Now well, let's go fight him. Okay. So their shields are not quite down yet. And they're shooting missiles at us now. Alright. Alright, so we do the pike beam. Take that across their bow, right uh, about there. Oh, shoot! That's terrible. You, you, get out of there. Hector, go. Go get healed. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, Hector. Or Kusi. Oh, this is not going well. You need to repair that. Oh! Go oh, by. That's not good. Alright, let's vent the air from there. Uh, we're gonna run out of air real quickly, though. Okay, you get healed up. Oh, no, we need actually weapons. Oh, Captain, you you go take care of that. Oh, this is bad. Oh, we're, we're dead. We are so dead. If we don't get weapons up and going, we are so dead. And, of course, all their shields are back. Oh, they just have more crew than us. Oh, okay, we're we're dead. We got, like, one hit left. Uh, can we hit him with anything? Hit him with the Artemis. Uh, take out their weapons. Oh, jeez, no. You... Oh, damn it, bugger. And we're, we're... We're... Okay. And that's FTL, folks! Uh, the game of frustration and randomness. Um, thank you so much for watching the Pixel X Gaming. I've been Tigbun. Furious as ever, trying to figure out how to beat this game on normal mode. I've only beaten this game once, and it was on easy mode, and that was hard as hell. And I'm still frustrated. I've tried and tried and tried, and I'm not sure if it's just dice luck or bad skills, but man, it's rough. I hope you have fun out there, folks. Have a good one.